Hey, this is Samira from Bouquet Body, um, and I just wanted to share with you today, this is part one of a three-part video um, about the body types to help you to find yours. Um, so Bouquet Body is, um, all of the body types are named after flowers, um, hence the bouquet, all the flowers together. Um, but so I wanted to talk today about the concept of finding your body type by um, by thinking about your frame. So basically, all 12 of the body types uh, fall into, can be categorized as either having a prominent frame, a moderate frame, or a slight or small frame. Uh, so frame, when we talk about frame, we're literally talking about your skeleton, your actual bones. Um, so that's not something that you can really do anything about, you know. Uh, today I want to talk about the types with a prominent frame. So a type with a prominent frame is going to come off as either powerful looking or tall or it's going to be noticeable that they are on, uh, they're, that they're larger in scale, whether that is through more length or more width. The types that are prominent, um, that have a prominent frame are the lily body type, uh, and the lily body type is long and narrow. Uh, some celebrities with this body type are Trini Woodall from Trini and Susanna, um, from the British What Not to Wear. Um, we have uh, Leslie Mann, um, who is married to Judd Apatow and in a lot of his movies, I think she's wonderful. Uh, we also have um, Letitia Wright from Black Panther 2. Um, and um, uh, Faye Dunaway is a lily type. Um, so women who look distinctly long and slender. So even if a lily type gains weight, their bone structure is still going to be quite, their bones are still going to be quite long and quite narrow. So another prominent frame type is the tulip. Um, and the tulip is also a type that has long and narrow bones, but it has more uh, round shapes, like large round shapes on top of that. So the tulip will, will be larger in the bust usually and with more pronounced hips as well. Um, but overall, the impression is one of being soft and long, um, whereas the lily tends to look more lean and long. Um, then you also have the sunflower type. So the sunflower is prominent and that tends to be both tall and sort of strong looking um, because we're looking at bones that are long and that are just thicker, basically. The actual physical bones are thicker. Um, so um, yeah, a lot of models are this type um, and it's why they carry clothes so well. Um, and the clothes that they carry well are clothes that are um, editorial, you know, so this is a great type for fashion. Uh, but Naomi Campbell would be a great example of a sunflower. Uh, Emma Hill, who is a YouTuber, is a sunflower. Uh, Rosie Huntington Whiteley is a sunflower. Um, so women who have uh, a presence to them and height, um, that would be a prominent frame and that would be the sunflower type. Now a sunflower type can have hips that are also um, pronounced, but they're generally gonna be smaller than their shoulders. So their shoulders are really the focal point. So now we've got the hibiscus, which is um, my own observed type. Um, a lot of the, the other three types, they do tend to correlate with the uh, kibbe types of um, dramatic, soft dramatic, and uh, flamboyant natural, if you're familiar with the kibbe verse, which probably are. Uh, but the hibiscus is another prominent frame type, um, which has um, the, um, which, so, <laughs> sorry, the hibiscus doesn't have very, very narrow bones, but they do have the length in their frame. So they could be, you know, even as small as maybe like 5'5", five, five, but I would say 5'5 five, five and up. They look tall. They look like a like a larger person, um, and then they have roundness in the shoulder, so they have kind of a rounded outer frame, um, and tend to be, from my observation, tend to be busty, uh, tend to collect weight kind of in the torso. Um, so those are the prominent frame types, and um, in the second part, we'll talk about the moderate frame types, and then finally, we'll talk about the small or slight frame types. Thanks for watching. Um, please feel free to leave me a comment uh, or email me at bouquetbody at gmail.com if you're interested in a consultation. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.